This is a story of a guy who is traveling to create surreal art. I decided to go to an interesting place called Boca de Uchide. I'm specifically going to the Isthmus Caribe. This is a very long sand strip, 23 kilometers long to be exact. It has the beach on one side and a lagoon on the other. This is perfect for the concept I want to create because the length of the beach creates a lot of mist. I drove around 7 hours to get there and I'll be staying in an inn for 2 nights to shoot 2 ideas. I'm about to share how I shot one of the images and a little bit about the trip. We're finally here, but now I have to wait for the sun to come down a bit because right now it is too harsh. So I think I'm going to shoot during golden hour and maybe I'm going to take advantage of the blue hour too, which is right after the golden hour. I just realized that I haven't talked about the concept yet. I've done this a couple of times before. This is the first time I'm going to do it outdoors. I'm going to use this lampshade and I'm improvising here. I'm using this cap and wig thread to hold the light that is going to be on my head. I think it's gonna hold, but well, I'm just going to enjoy the beach while I wait for the golden hour. Let's see if everything works out. Something happened that morning. Just as a side story, I want to briefly show you how I crashed my second drone. I lost my first one in 2021 in Los Roques. This time, I bumped it into a tree and it fell right over the lake. I didn't hesitate to jump inside the lagoon to recover it. I didn't even think about snakes or alligators. I was lucky though, the drone fell over the water hyacinths. <laughs> Everything is ready. I have everything <laughs> inside of the lampshade and I'm going to start walking. I could literally take this picture uh, in front of here, of the inn, but I get kind of nervous when people is watching. I, I used to be very used to be seen while taking pictures, but for some reason, now, I don't feel as comfortable because I have maybe three or four months since I haven't taken any pictures in public. And I know it's weird, but I just can't. So I'm going to walk maybe, I don't know how much, uh, till no one is watching. And then I'm going to start shooting. Everything is set up. I have my camera there. Um, I have the lamp here and I'm going to use it to lighten myself. I am waiting for the sun to come down a bit more because it's too hard. I'm not going to be illuminated when I take the photo. So I'm going to wait maybe 15 minutes. While I waited, I kept looking for the best angle and perspective. Then I saw this vlog and decided to move there because it added so much to the composition. I also illuminated the lock and took some photos of it just in case I needed to add light to it in post. All while unsuccessfully avoiding getting these sweat shoes wet over and over again. And then it happened. Just as everything in life that is meant to be, the sun went down and the light was just enough to lighten the landscape and soft enough to allow my tiny lamp to illuminate me. This light is really useful. I'm actually using it to lighten myself because as you can see, it's completely dark already. And oh wow, I tried so many different angles and places and I think the final image is going to be really interesting. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not completely sure, but I'm actually feeling very hopeful about this one. And I'm really excited about 
the experience because I'm going to be able to share that with you. And that's something I, I don't know, it's just like a friendly reminder because it's something that I have to keep telling myself is that you don't have to always have a beautiful image after trying a new concept. Uh, it's all about the experience and how much are you enjoying the process. And I'm not saying this as a guru because <laughs> I know that I, I end up really frustrated after taking some photos and not having something beautiful to share with you. And this happens to me all the time and I do end up really frustrated. But I try to remind myself that. Remind yourself that you're doing whatever you do is because you love the process and because you love to do that. And even though you don't have the best outcome, well, you learn something. And well, in, on that note, I'm going to end this video. Please let me know in the comments if you, if you want to see the speed edit of the image, if the image <laughs> works. I'm not sure, but I hope that it does. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.